You don't know the story. Everybody knows the story. Now, do y'all want to hear a real ghost story? It was a cold night, and I was laying on the couch, and I was freezing. I had just received a really bad report. The from danger, the Mr. Holman, is if you get into air raid destruction and die. And I was close and to death. The lady here who loves you uh, calls me and says, you know, he's gone. Then I will feel awful, and yeah, you, will feel, feel you will feel you will feel dead. You will feel dead. You will feel dead. Spirit of God, Spirit of God. breathe on God. Spirit of God, Spirit of God. Spirit breathe, God. breathe on me. Spirit of God, breathe, breathe on me. What if I told you a real ghost story? Well, hey guys, welcome to another edition of the, another season of Ghost Chat as we here at Resonation have started our series again ghost stories we do this uh every year around this time of year uh when everybody seems to be wanting to talk about scary um you know ghost stuff at this time of year with halloween and everything we like to uh tell ghost stories as in holy ghost stories so uh during this little segment especially this time through we really want to break down some of the, the behind the scenes things of why do we do what we do with this series uh what is this all about and so uh i have with me today i'm super excited because this is his first time sitting i think for the church in front of the camera absolutely yes. <laughs> typically typically he's always behind a soundboard or the cameras or a switcher or whatever or just making anything that is broken work <laughs> here at risen nation uh so this is our creative pastor and av director mark kapner say hi say hi hi, hi. <laughs> so so uh you guys should have seen at the beginning of this uh the bumper video for this year's uh, ghost stories series but before we really kind of start to break that down because i do want mark to share uh kind of his thought process behind it his process in general in making this and then kind of over the years of how this thing has kind of uh developed into what it is now um but let's just talk about this since we're talking about the holy ghost and this is chat's ghost chat, ghost chat. Uh, which i love this this is so cool uh ghost chat as we talk about the holy ghost but let's talk about holy ghost holy spirit led video production like give me your thoughts on that is that a thing is that like real like how does that work it, it has to be real because <laughs> uh honestly there's no there's no way i could do what i do without him yeah and so yeah i mean i i start out with an inkling of an idea mm -hmm. and then it just grows into something that uh i i don't think i could comprehend like yeah, yeah. From, from the front end and like i mean even just the initial you know bumper um and, and we'll probably talk about this more. Yeah. Uh, the initial bumper was something like crazy. I mean, we had we had a bunch of people, and then I had to to leave uh, while everybody's setting up and oh, yeah, yeah. and come back. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was crazy. And we just shot this thing. And I feel like I edited it in like one day. I don't know why. I feel like I had to edit it that night. And mm. I don't know. I, I meant to check the timing, but. Yeah. Um, I know it was a really fast turnaround, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever happened there. And so there's no way that it could have grown into what it's become, mm -hmm. uh, without the Holy Spirit. Yeah. There, absolutely yeah, no way. So it wouldn't be out of the realm of, of, of possibility or even thinking that before you even work on these things that you're praying, you're praying on this, you're praying about this. Oh, absolutely. You're inviting yeah. the Holy Spirit to help in this yeah, creative Yeah, process. because I'm, I'm just like, there's no, like, you'll come up with an idea, mm -hmm. right? For a, for a series. Yeah, yeah. And you'll you'll kind of have some ideas to kind of guide us. You know, yeah, this yeah. is kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, with, without the Holy Spirit, there's 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 no way I could even arrive. You know, at at the idea, and I'm, it's just kind of God breathed, and and I just it'll just come to me, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I'll be like, okay. I got it now, but I'll be yeah. stressed, you know, up into that point. I'm just yeah. like, Lord, I don't know. I don't know exactly where we're supposed to go with this, but you know, this is kind of what Matt's thinking. And obviously yeah. he knows. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, no, I, well, and, and I too, even planning the series and you know, this, I mean, we, we, you know, I spent a lot of time praying through the series and some years is easier because God will give me a very clear roadmap of like what we're going to be talking about almost the whole year, right. which is helpful for everybody. <laughs> but Absolutely. some years he, uh, he definitely wants us to be a little more dependent step by step. Uh, but you've always made incredible bumper videos that I feel like really capture uh, exactly what I'm seeing and what the Holy Spirit was showing me. So it's very cool to see even from my side of it, of what's going on and, and to make those connections that we want to hit. 
people, and we've talked about this, but like, so people know our goal is so when people come in for a series, right, that they're being hit on every level. Of Absolutely. Their yes. Being completely immersed kind of in the series and in, in the theme and in the idea that the Holy Spirit's kind of given us uh, yeah. and you. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's such a huge thing. And like, I was thinking about Welcome to Glory Land, which is kind of the same thing. And we just yeah. had so many things kind of fall in our favor. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I went to, we went to California with kind of, I honestly didn't have much of an idea. Yeah. I mean, we kind of had a, a loose script of kind of how it was going to go. Yeah. And I was just like, I feel like the Lord's just going to give it to me when we get there. Yeah. Uh, and, and he did. And I yeah. mean, and it worked out. I mean, but, but it was a completely kind of immersive thing. Like, you know, we had the track, you know, that our worship team wrote and we had all of these, these, these graphics and all of these things that kind of like all came together. And that was, that was just incredible. Yeah. So no, that's, that's amazing. And so that, and, and I think that's important. I think one thing too, that I've had a lot of conversation with different pastors in the area and uh, people that I know. Uh, and have a, had the benefit of getting to know since doing ministry is one they've asked me, they'll ask me about our staff and, you know, I'll tell them who's all on our staff and stuff. And like you're full time on our staff now, which is such a blessing. And that's something we knew we would be working towards eventually. Right. Uh, you know, even when you first came on, you know, not, <laughs> not definitely not making any money, but, uh, but right. uh, pouring a whole lot of money in. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so the fact that you're on staff now and you get to focus on this full time, I know is a blessing and I know you enjoy Absolutely. and we really enjoy, but uh, you know, when I bring it up to other pastors, a lot of times they'll be like, Oh, why would you, why would you hire somebody? like that on full time and I'm like well especially and this was kind of my next when we talk about this uh, and how important media is for the church today. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, the church world is all media. It's all in media Everything. now. Everything's online. Everything. So you need someone that really has that gifting in house that you don't have to, you know, and, and, and not that before, before obviously you could, you turned out awesome stuff, but you were limited, a uh, very limited on what you could do. Right. And then now, as opposed to now, we can go to California right. <laughs> and get footage of things. You know, we can we can go and randomly drop everything and head to Galveston and get a shot of something. Because right. We really feel like it's going to fit and really push this message that we are trying to bring people into. Which ultimately, I know your passion because you've shared it so much with me. Of it's about sharing the gospel with people. Oh, absolutely. Ultimately, the bottom line is we want people to clearly and effectively receive the gospel. Yeah, and and everybody's on their phones or you know looking at some kind of social media or some kind of content, you know, for a greater majority of their day, other yeah. than, you know, people that have kind of just take, taken a step back. But, yeah. you know, the larger majority of people are consuming content over and over and over and all throughout the day. And so, I mean, we kind of have to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's that's a driving factor in what everything that we do, especially with our creative team, you know. Yeah. And we've seen uh, amazing things happen with yeah. it. Um, but, yeah, that's a driving factor. That's kind of a, a, a huge thing for us, you yeah. know, for me, um, to be able to, and, and, you know, you know, that I was very apprehensive about a lot of things like live streaming. I was very apprehensive yeah. about it. Yeah. Because, you kind of have a choice there with the pandemic. Right. You, and so, <laughs> but we've been able to meet people kind of where they are if they're not here, you yeah, know? Yeah. And so that's, that's such a huge thing for, for the church now. Yes. Um, so no, I, I definitely think it's, 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 you gotta have it, you gotta have it or you ain't going to make it. I mean, you're not going to be really relevant in the world today. No. Um, but I mean, even you talking about creative team, you know, uh, the, the, the creative, the massive creative <laughs> team here at Resonation, which yes. usually includes me, Mark and, uh, David Barney, who yes. created this graphic you're looking at, creates all of our graphics or most of them. And then of course my wife, Sydney, she, she helps some too with, uh, some graphic direction and design, but, um, really a great team of people that can work together and bring some of this stuff to life. And again, it's all following the Holy Spirit, his leading. Uh, so this opened with the, the current bumper we're using for this time around, yes. uh, which we've made small changes throughout the years. And this one, yes. this was actually kind of a big change. I feel like in the sense of the direction, uh, you know, which we, you, if you guys see the other episode, we'll talk with Jerry about really, uh, the story and the testimony mm -hmm. behind this video, but kind of break down what, this bumper everybody just saw. What 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 does it mean? Like, why is it? Because obviously, some people they get a little creeped out by it. You oh, absolutely, see it. it's definitely. Yeah. I mean, there's parts where we're in a funeral home, so it is yes. kind of. It does have that vibe, but kind of explain um, the vision behind it and what you were thinking as you put it together. So originally, um, we you know shot with Jerry uh, and in the, the kids who are now some of them are like on high school football teams and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been, been quite a while. It's been a minute. Uh, so originally, we shot with them uh, and. Uh, you know, we had Jerry tell just a random story. Yeah. Didn't really have any significance in his life. It was just something that, you know, we were just trying to get dialogue. Yeah. And, you know, in the years after, um, you know, I was able to do some things and I kind of just used what we already had as a shell and kind of 
went back to the original and added kind of things at the end or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, last year I talked to Jerry and I said, hey, could you, t- could you like go back in, could you go into that story, you know, that you were telling? Cause I'd, I'd really like to do that. And he said, you know, I don't really want to do that. Cause I don't want to, you <laughs> yeah. know, I want to be telling a story that's not of the Lord. And I was like, okay, I totally get that. That yeah, makes yeah. complete sense. Yeah. A little bit convicted now. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> thank, you, thank you. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, we just kind of added on a part at the end that said, you know, what if I tell you a real ghost story? Yes. So he came to you, I guess. Which you is guys, an iconic line. Absolutely. Now, yeah, it, it really is. <laughs> yeah. So it, and, and so we kind of have built around that now. And this is the real ghost story. And I've gone back to the original, like, um, uh, premiere session, um, yeah. project rather, yeah. and kind of pulled all the original footage color graded it again like made it look better um because yeah, yeah. i'm better now than i was then so <laughs> well good it gotten better yeah that's good. no absolutely that's good. I, I wasn't always a good and i'm just you know still not that great but that's okay oh, so <laughs> so anyway we, i went back to the original but jerry has a real ghost story where yeah. the holy spirit breathed new life into him yeah, yeah basically so uh you know he's laying on the couch and and uh, he's so close to death. Yeah. And that's kind of what the representation of, you know, the uh, casket was. Yeah. Uh, is that uh, he was close to death. Yeah. I mean, on his deathbed. Really. On his Literally. deathbed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, and so that's kind of, that was kind of the motivating thing for us to, to do that, you know, just kind of to visually show that he's close to death. And, you know, I had this idea in my head of like kind of ticking back and forth between the couch in the, in the coffin. Yeah. Or, or a casket, actually. Yeah. And yeah. so... I had the idea and, you know, I'm just go, I go through and I'm searching for, you know, for sound effects and stuff. And, and, um, I, I just, I had the ticking thing, but I wasn't really thinking of a clock. I was just kind of thinking of like that kind of, uh, cadence, that kind yeah. of, uh, tempo yeah. of back and forth and back and forth. Well, the clock just, just hit it. And I was like, okay, well that makes sense because we're ticking closer to the end here for Jerry. Yeah, yeah. And so it, is he is on the clock. Ticking. And yes. so, um, that's kind of like one of those things that just kind of built into what it was. And so, uh, I'm not sure if I've, I've completely, uh, described exactly kind of what it, what it was, you know, the story, um, and, and Jerry will go further into that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, he was, he was so close to death and, and, you know, the Holy spirit, you know, breathed on him with his and, invitation. Those are the words he, which is what we kind of the spirit of God breathe on me, right? Spirit of God breathe on me. Yeah. And, and, and what's, what's crazy is the painting that's above him. And he, he'll also probably mention this is ca- called, um, breath of God. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, oh, just yeah, such yeah. a, such Absolutely, a full man. circle thing. And that, yeah. and that's how and a lot in the of video things, you had the real painting too. The real painting is in yeah, the video. Uh, the, you know, I, I made sure to get an actual B-roll shot of it. Cause his pajamas were fire. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Those things are amazing. You're going to have to ask him where he got those. Those are amazing. Yeah. (laughs) But, I mean, so it it was just kind of a a full circle thing uh, in that the painting was was called, you know, uh, Breath of God. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, because the the Lord, the Holy Spirit breathed on him. And and, and at that moment, you know, and, and again, Jerry will will go into this detail. Yeah. He just kind of got up and was like, I'm done with this, you know. And so – yeah. And that's the him catching his breath at the end. Yeah. That's kind of it. And yeah. and that was kind of a that was the shot I was the most concerned about because I was like, okay, <laughs> this could look really hokey if we're not if Under, we're, Undertaker. Yeah. It's <laughs> exactly right. And uh and I was just like, man, I, I just want this shot to to make the most cuz the other things like, you know, the back and forth thing or made, you know, I feel like that is an easier thing. Yeah. But the action of him actually breathing in and uh you know kind of receiving that breath um and so that was the the shot that i just wanted to make sure that i did did the best and and so i hope i hope i got there um no i think so i i heard i mean i heard audible gasp i remember the first (laughs) for everybody hearing and i always love watching a new bumper be premiered you know before the first message of a series and like there is this anticipation, you know, and stuff like oh, that. Absolutely. And already because we do this consecutively, and because and honestly, we, you know, I'll, of course, discuss this more with Jerry. But Jerry was a big inspiration of why I even did this every year because okay. he was so like, like, hey, this is this is such an important topic mm-hmm. that I think it's important that every year we go over this. Yeah, like every year is a body because you got new people coming in that maybe who knows where they what background they come from, right? What kind of teaching have they had about the gifts of the spirit? You know, uh, maybe they've been freaked out by it. Maybe they've, they've witnessed abuses of it. Maybe Mm -hmm. they, you know, so let's bring everybody back to a very healthy gospel centered, 
uh, explanation right. of of the Holy Spirit and what His job is and and what He does for us and so how we encounter Him and so that kind of started from there. But to build on it every year and like the little teaser videos, everybody gets excited like oh they know it's yes. that and it's cool to see. That being, because, you know, the conversation, which I've had criticism from people throughout the years of, well, why do you only do it during Halloween? Like, as if it's a way for me to celebrate Halloween and whatever that means to you, you know, and whoever, right? Right. It, which is silly to me, but I get it. We always try to find the 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 thing, you know, lurking behind the, you know, what's <laughs> right. the real motive or whatever. And it's like, well, no, the motive is just simply this is a conversation in culture. And so I'm going to give them the real, right? like, you know, like what, what's the Holy Spirit, the yes. Holy Ghost, right? Like, and so, and we both grew up in very charismatic cultures. So we're been around all this time and you can, you can get around people that have no experience with it mm -hmm. and, and really kind of think about it and be like, yeah, some of this stuff growing up was kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's no, kind of, no, definitely, you're like, yeah. you're like, uh, uh, you know, like, yeah. how do I explain this to so-and-so? And, exactly. And so to have this kind of series and, and I think that's really cool, but I, I think it brings us to the, the point with media is inevitably, especially in today's world, because you can find this on any social media post, even like the most, the purest, most beautiful post mm -hmm. of a puppy and somebody with a puppy, you go to the comments and there is somebody <laughs> criticizing, there is somebody tearing I hate, down. I hate dogs. Yeah, yeah I can't believe, always... I can't believe you would, dude, you don't pick up a puppy like that. Yeah. Like, like just criticizing yeah. everything about it. You're right. like, dude, just enjoy the video. And so, but like, inevitably you're gonna run into somebody's opinion or even an attack on content you've created. Right. Right. And so now I know because I'm in a lot of the content you create, <laughs> uh, the attacks, I know for me personally reading it, it is, can be very personal. Like, cause it's literally me in the video of being like, or taking something I'm saying in the wrong direction, right. you know, stuff like that happens often. And obviously on YouTube, you get fun comments and from all over the world, <laughs> from yes. everywhere. Yeah. And they, they, I mean, even the shirt I'm wearing right now, it's a star Wars shirt, which I love, <laughs> I love star Wars. And I had literally somebody comment, they're like, dude, you're preaching in a star Wars shirt. Like as if that was a bad thing, right? which I just I commented and responded, which you probably shouldn't do. But I did, and and I said uh, I was just like, dude, yeah, you know, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> like so cool. And so, uh, but people are people are funny in that way. But you know, we recently, especially with this year, I've always I've always heard, you know, I've gotten questions from people that have concerns, and then I think once they get into it, they realize, oh, okay, this is right. very much the motive is pure, and they're not trying to suggest anything else or try to you know whatever elevate something that shouldn't be elevated. Mm -hmm. uh, and even with how you're sharing with the bumper, like we went through great pains to like we we wanted this to be serious in the sense of like we're at death here right. like, we're talking about death but to contrast with the fact that the spirit brings life mm -hmm. right but we wanted to make sure it wasn't too morbid or too absolutely creepy. yeah and, it, and it's easy <laughs> it's easy to get into that jump scares and things like yeah, that yeah. it's so easy i mean yes and so, you, I mean, you took you took the pains to take to where it wasn't like that, right? Absolutely, but I, because I, mean, I don't, I'm not trying to freak people out. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I'm trying to tell the story. Yeah, and so. I mean, when you're close to death, I mean, that's pretty, yeah, it, it can yeah, be pretty dark. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. I, that's kind of where we were going with it. You yeah. know, I mean, and, and, and really... Uh, and which Romans 8, 11, that was the, the, the verse which I gave both you and David. And yes. you'll see all the designs with the coffin, you know, being raised. And it says, be raised by the Holy Spirit. The whole theme of this is that, is a yes. supernatural intervention. Well, and I wanted to, to also, like, because, because of the way it's lit, it's, it's, it is dark. Uh, and Jerry is kind of lit in the center of it. And it was kind of just a, kind of a vignette of everything. I was, I wasn't trying to, I mean, I wasn't able to set dress everything first yeah, of all, yeah. but, but I was trying to really focus in on, on Jerry and what was going on in, uh, in his life. I wasn't trying to make a distraction with a bunch of other things. So that yeah. it's really like a vignette of, of that particular moment. Yeah. And that was, that was why it was lit that way. Why, why it was yeah, dark yeah. and it just kind of like a spotlight on Jerry, yeah, because yeah. I mean, that's what was going on in his life. Yeah. So. So how do you like and and even in within our our own YouTube channel, which has seen a lot of growth, um, you know, and a lot of the the wonderful content that's on it, and people are engaging with it, which is cool. And I know, I know that 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 warms your heart because you you see your active ministry growing, right? And like really impacting people and reaching people all over. But I think um, what's what's really cool about it to me though is like even in this like or I guess I, what question I want to ask you as we kind of wrap this up, what like. One, how cool is it? I think in this series in particular, because we've had plenty of cool bumpers. Like you mentioned, the Easter one was over. It was awesome. 
it was so cool. But how cool is it to have something like this where you've been able to build on it year after year and to even go back, as you said, the footage? Because some of the people, like the people probably about, I mean, um, Mary, who was, uh, you know, opened up her home to right. us, her and Kenny. I mean, Mary since has gone to be with Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so I'm always reminded of that warm memory of her being excited. We're on her property, her getting the s'more stuff ready for all the kids right. and like just super excited that what we were doing and to, to have something like that happening on our property. So I'm always reminded of that every mm-hmm. time I see that bumper footage. So for you, what's that like? What's the opportunity that you get to have because that's the way it's it's been going? Like we've been able to build on it. Yeah, I mean, so again, I get to go back to the original footage. Yeah. And I think, again, of the day, like we were doing that. You know, we're all getting there. Everybody's got other stuff going on, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a Saturday. Yeah. So my kids are, except for my son, we're all at a birthday party. And, and what I think about is this, is that we're all set up. We're about ready to hit record, I feel like. Yeah. And I get the call. Uh, Ezra has has fallen, uh, yeah. and it, I, there was a ladder that I set up uh, yeah. the night before to change the smoke detector battery because it was beeping at us. And so he had cl- tried to climb up the ladder, and he's like a year old. Yeah. And, he, and the ladder falls on his face. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm just like, oh, my goodness. So my wife calls me and I'm running away to, to go to her. Like, and I'll leave you guys there. I'm like, Oh my goodness. Like I have all these people ready to go and I'm having to leave. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to come back because yeah. you know, this is, you know, yeah, it's yeah. Ezra's face, right? Yeah, yeah it's his face. It's and so deal. it's bleeding pretty bad. And so I, uh, my mom calls me and she's like, Hey, just turn around. We'll, we'll take care of it and just meet us after. And so that, that I think about a lot. And yeah. I think about, you know, how crazy that whole situation was for me. I mean, you guys, you were having a great time. <laughs> and I was just, like, trying to focus. And, and, like, for that for that to come out of it. Yeah. Uh, and the bumper that we've been able to use for years and years, uh, you know, with additions, you know, really, yeah. the past two years have been the, the most, you know, adding we've done to it. Because, yeah. you know, other than that was, like, uh, you know, I'm adding a different... Uh, number to it or whatever yeah, yeah and so this year and maybe recutting some stuff but this year going back to the original thing and you know co- completely redoing it and i guess we could mention this that that you know we had to recreate jerry's voice um to make this work yeah yeah um which was uh, i think i've never done before and we wouldn't have even been able to do that three years ago probably no um so with the with the wonder of uh, computers and ai yeah <laughs> Which we are very quick to hate. Uh, yeah, yeah. That made that possible yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to be able to do that. And so to add this story and to actually dive in, I'm just like, I don't even know how I'm going to top this next year yeah, yeah. or how we're going to, how we're going to add to the story. We'll cross it next year. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it, We'll show up. We'll and show I just like, I think like, oh yeah, <laughs> short film or something. Like what, yeah, what are we going to do now? We're literally like, making a movie. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's so cool. And even what you were kind of mentioning is like, and, and that's what I think the church as a whole needs to realize is the importance of the Holy Spirit in technology, mm-hmm. in media, and how we can use it to spread the gospel. Why, why it, is it used for bad things? Sure, of course. Just like anything can be perverted and, and you know, right. tries to skew everything. But when you get to the purity of following the Lord and being willing to be creative mm-hmm. and really push the boundaries in the sense of tradition of what we know as right. far as that goes, it's amazing the people you can reach. And, you know, but same time, you're going to get criticism. Sure. And so, you know, and that's, that's fine, too. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, I think it's important to probably you probably agree with this is that, you know, you, you know, you know, your motive and the people around you that really know your life and that, you know, we do, we all keep each other accountable. They're not sure. doing things to shock people. No, we, we no, always say that. We do, and I do the same thing with sermons. You know, I don't want to offend somebody just to offend them. Right. Right. Like, like if they get offended because of the truth, though, that's one thing. But if they get offended because I'm literally going on my way to offend everybody, I'm not doing a good job either communicating right. the heart of the Lord. Yeah. And so I think you take that same painstaking measures, right? Like, within with what you're doing. And I, I really love that about Yeah, you. I don't want to do something just because it's cool or, yeah. or, or for shock value. It's And like I said, it's super easy just with, with editing. I mean, you yeah. can be pretty creative in that in that way. Yeah. Like you could shock somebody yeah. quickly. Um, and so that's not really ever been the, the idea. Um, you know, some of the teasers that we've done have been a little more along those lines. Yeah. Uh, and so but that's not really the story necessarily. Yeah, it's just um, to get people going, oh, it's happening. Yeah, like oh, what's going on? It's going so, back, yeah. Yeah, and and that's I mean we 
have received different criticism of, of t- <laughs> teasers, <laughs> which is funny. Cause la- like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we yeah. won't get into that. No, um, <laughs> no. I mean, I just, you know, <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> uh, you know, but that, that's, that's cool. They, so even in that, so s- signing off as we, we close this out, what is like, I'm hoping that maybe some, some, some young, uh, you know, AV guys that are interested in, in, in tech and, and far as like uh, audio engineering, lighting, video, all that. And maybe they even do it for their church. They mm-hmm. volunteer and do it for the church, which you have done forever. Like yes. for like, you've been in this for a long time. Since I was 17. Yeah. So, so I'm 39 now. And especially being primarily an, an audio guy, right. you've dealt with criticism of it being too loud or sometimes being, yeah. <laughs> not so much here anymore. Cause it's, it's pretty no. much a rule that you know, like, hey, it's it's where it's at for a reason, and that's just how we do it. Right. But uh, but what would you? What advice would you give them? Like starting out or working on this, or you know, obviously they're just starting. Maybe even their pastors ask them, like, like, hey, could you put together something for me? For mm-hmm. uh, you know, like, what advice would you give them, and, and like, what's helped you? It's not as hard as you think. Okay. Um, creativity tops a lot of things, but story is everything. Mm-hmm. So, um. If you can't come up with all of the, you know, creative stuff, I mean, we have no budget basically to do this. Mm-hmm. We, I just have to come up with things and be clever and, and, and inventive, you know. And so, you know, phones are a really good way to shoot things now. iPhones are incredible. They're shooting uh, commercials and movies and things like that with them. Yeah. Uh, and so you sometimes have to think outside of the box. And that's fine. Uh, but story is everything. And so... I would say like on the, on the bumper front or any kind of creative front, just make sure you're telling the story. Uh, you know, the best you can do is, is, is great. You know, and, and audio is one of the things to me and probably a lot of people like your video could be kind of not great, but if, if your audio is bad, then nobody's going yeah, like, to, no, yeah. nobody's going to like I'd it. I turn it off immediately if the audio is bad. Right. And so, yeah. um, think more about that audio. Uh, and then also lighting. I mean, you can, do a lot with lighting, but one of the reasons that iPhone videos look so great is because lighting. Yeah. Uh, it's not because of the camera. Um, people put a lot of stock in the camera and doing everything, and that's great. I mean, they've allowed us the capability to do a lot more low light stuff and a yeah. lot of like natural light video photography. Um, but don't ever discount lighting something, a yeah. scene. Um, and like I said, you don't, I mean, you can light things with a uh, light from Home Depot that, yeah. you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, the, the RE package or the, the, <laughs> uh, the aperture package. It doesn't have to be that. Yeah. And so, you know, just, just have to think outside of the box. I mean, watch as much content on shooting as you can, um, on all, all around all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think hopefully eventually we'll be able to do to create that kind of thing too to help you know churches and yeah and stuff like that. But there are churches that are doing great work. You know, uh, Drake Kelch from from uh, former Bethel. He does a lot of really great stuff. But there are also creators out there if you just look for them that are showing you how to do things with what you have. Yeah. Uh, and it, and it's helpful. I mean, and so I've watched a lot and learned a lot just from that from that you know resource. You know, YouTube is a huge resource for yeah, us. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying that's awesome, dude. Yeah, that's it. absolutely. That's awesome. Well, sweet. Well, hey, guys, thanks for hanging out with us for this episode of Ghost Chat. Definitely uh, check out the future episodes that will be dropping uh, each and every Wednesday. Am I going to get that right, Mark? Wednesday? Yes, Since Wednesdays. I got you sitting right here. Yes. Okay. So, it's so coming so out on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. You're going to see it on Wednesdays. And definitely come check us out here at Risen Nation. If you're in the Pasadena area, you don't have a home church, come hang out with us. We have services at 9 and 11 a.m. Check us out at risennationchurch.com. Uh, this is a great time to come as we are in the midst of our ghost story series, which is always such a powerful time. So definitely come check it out and uh, check out the next one. And until next time.